Hey everyone, today I'm out flying this 85 millimeter Whoop. It's got the DJI digital FPV system on here. And so it's pretty fun for exploring around these trees. I wanna show you that and I'll tell you more about the build at the end of the video. And also uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, those sales are coming up. If you're looking to get some FPV gear and you wanna save some money, look down in the video description text. I'll put some codes down there. If that helps you out, cool. All right, let's have some fun. So here's the drone up close. Some of you might recognize it because I showed it in a video once before. This was a prototype of a drone that now Beta FPV sells as a bind and fly. It's got the Nebula camera and the Vista air unit, but it's stripped down Vista, so it's lighter than you might think. Uh, the Nebula is not nearly as good as the original DJI camera, but it is lighter and that does matter for a build like this. So it's pretty cool. Um, this one is different though than the Beta FPV drone. They shipped that with 8,000 KV 1103s, and I decided to swap up to 1105 5,000 KV, and I've got the carbon brace on here. And that's not something I would normally do. I don't like adding weight to my whoops, as you probably know, but I wanted to see how it would do with this one. Uh, I have found that sometimes when you're packing the extra weight of an HD system, having a little bit more motor torque and a little bit stiffer frame can help. And I think it does help for that faster outdoor flying. But of course, if you were going to fly this inside or in those tighter spaces, the smaller motors, I think, would be a win. So anyway, it's interesting. I will keep playing with this thing. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a good Thanksgiving weekend, and I'll see you around.